My name is Albert Johnson. And what I'm about to tell you, many of you won't believe. But that's really not my concern. I just want to get the truth out there and um, it's going to come out eventually anyway. Question about some of the technology that you're developing to fight the war on terror, specifically directed energy and high powered microwave technology. Do you, uh, when do you envision that you can weaponize that type of technology? Mm-hmm. Goodness. Um, it, is, it is in, for the most part, the kinds of things you're talking about are in varying early stages. Do you want to, do you have anything you'd add? I don't think I would add much. I, no. I, it's, I think they are in early stages and, and, and probably not ready uh, for employment at this point. Everyone's expecting Donald Trump to pursue his political enemy if he's given the second term. What everyone is expecting Donald Trump to do in his second term, he already did in his first term. In, in the normal order of things, when you invest in research and development and begin a developmental project, uh, you don't have any intention or expectations that one would use it. During Trump's first administration, he, with the help of Steve Bannon and Eric Prince, were able to create his own shadow government or Gestapo, um, you would call it. Uh, this, uh, this organization that he created uh, was funneled directed energy weapons that were designed for military purpose and these weapons were given to white nationalist organizations Trump loyalists through this gentleman named Eric Prince and a government contract that were allowed them to funnel these weapons to these organizations so that Trump would have the ability outside the government to harass, threaten, or kill anyone that they seemed, that they considered worthy of it. Uh, with no trace, uh, with these weapons, there's, there's no trace. Um, they can basically give you a um, heart failure uh, in the comfort of your home, while you're driving up the street, um, while you're walking up the street, and they can kill you and it'll look like you just had heart failure and you just died. No one's talking about this. Um, I don't know how many people know about it. I'm sure people in our government know about it. But um, yeah, these weapons are on the street right now and they're in the hands of people who pretty much can kill anybody they want. Um, 15 minutes, about all it takes, they could pull outside your house, maybe two cars and one drone outfitted with this, these weapons, and 15 minutes you'll be on the floor with heart failure. And they hit you with it and it's like your heart um, contracts, it's like a cramp. But the one muscle we have that cannot cramp up is our heart. <laughs> if your heart cramps, you die. So what do you sound like you're willing to experiment with? I, I think that's the point. And I think, and it's, we, we have, I think, from the beginning of this conflict, I think General Franks has been very open to looking at uh, new things if there are new things available and has been, been willing to, to put them into the fight even before they've been fully <laughs> wrung out. And I think that's uh, not referring to these two particular cases of directed energy or, or high powered microwave, uh, but, but sure. And yes, we will continue to do that. What are directed energy weapons? Um, basically, they're concentrated electromagnetic pulse weapons that um, that use electromagnetic waves, um, different frequencies that coincide with our body in order to affect it. Uh, they also have high power microwave weapons. Um, and I believe some other ones that uh, I'm not as familiar with. 
But anyway, these weapons aren't new, but what is new is that for the first time during the Trump administration, these weapons were used against American citizens. Nobody's talking about it. Um, how many people might have been killed by these weapons? How many innocent Americans might have been killed by these weapons? My guess is in the tens of thousands. You gotta remember, when they kill you with this weapon, the autopsy report is gonna say that you basically had a um, heart failure or your heart stopped. Um, they also use these weapons in order to give people cancer. I know it sounds weird, but if you're predisposed to cancer, let's say you, um, you have a family history of cancer, they can constantly bombard you with low amounts of radiation that will trigger your cancer. That way they eliminate you and it just looks like you develop cancer, which runs in your family, but they're aiding in, in the progression and in the, um, the uh, acquiring of the cancer with these weapons. Um, yeah. Trump has been using these weapons to kill Americans. They've been doing this for, I don't know, eight years now. And um, they're very smart about who they use these weapons against. Uh, but they're very effective and nobody's talking about it. Uh, you have the situation with the um, Havana syndrome. Those are energy weapons, by the way. And some of our government knows that <laughs> by, by the description of what, the, what these happened to these people. I know for a fact they're energy weapons. These weapons are out and I just want to make sure people know about them because with an election coming up and if Trump does make it in office, um, this is what he did, I believe, to go around involving our military uh, because thank God there were people who were in those positions that told him he couldn't do it to go after American citizens but this time around I think they're planning on using these weapons and with these weapons you don't really need a military you, you, you don't you just need um, a certain group of people to go out and, um, and utilize these weapons And now with AI, I can just imagine with these weapons what they can do to people. Um, you probably can control the country with them, you know. I mean, it'd be like Russia or something, but Russia uses these exact weapons for the exact same purpose. And other countries are exploring these weapons. But like I said, these weapons have been around um, for a while. Trump, Trump made it okay to use them against innocent Americans. So, vote Harris Walsh. Or the country that we know is going to look completely different if Trump gets back in office in a year or two. We'll look a lot more like Russia than America. Thank you.